Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. So today I'm going over the latest update for my crypto passive income for 2020. This is episode five. Uh, every episode covers a two week period. And if you haven't been following along, basically every two weeks I go through all my different passive income streams, a mixture of staking coins, masternodes, uh, crypto interest accounts and advertising. And I uh, go through all the figures for the last two weeks. Now there will be links to the previous updates in the initial video in the description below if you do want to go back and and have a look at those but let's jump straight in and have a look at uh, our staking coin so this first table is all staking coins now just to bring you up to date with any changes uh, after uh, we received the uh, energy uh, stake which you can see at the bottom there uh, I have actually sold now all my energy it had a big pump up in price due to the imminent launch I think it's today actually of uh, the energy version 3 blockchain but I took the opportunity uh, to sell my energy um, I'm not necessarily planning to buy back into it so uh, that will be our last uh, stake within energy um, also with Pivx, Pivx is currently um, being uh, traded and I've also done quite a lot of uh, nav coin trading so um, expect maybe in the next few weeks not as many stakes for Pivx or uh, nav going forward so uh, they've been quite volatile Pivx has had a massive spike up in price in the last kind of day or so um, so I'm kind Currently in trade with that and they haven't been in a wallet staking um, so starting with navcoin at the top of the list uh, 39 cents for nav only two stakes this last couple of weeks uh, 22 cents for syndicate 61 cents for uh, neo gas seven dollars 76 for metrics continues to perform pretty well uh, nothing for pivx as i just mentioned 73 cents for helix six dollars 29 for icon um, again continues to kind of like trickle on quite nicely and it's nice that you don't have to have a hot wallet or anything for icon just log in uh, once a week or once every couple of weeks and uh, claim the uh, new icon tokens and uh, finally a uh, three dollars 90 for energy and as you can see here uh, metrics has uh, overtaken icon I think it did that a few weeks ago it's now the most uh, profitable of my staking coins here so far this year and then if we jump forward uh, to the next table, uh, top of the list here we have our uh, master node. So this is Horizon Secure node. Uh, 42 coins you require for each node. I've got uh, 84 coins locked up, so I've got two nodes. And we have received $6.08. Uh, through the Horizon Secure nodes the last two weeks. And then onto our crypto interest account. So uh, BlockFi, we received a payment um, because this last two weeks covered the first of the month, the first working day of the month, you get paid out for a block fire. So $127.51. And then we've got our crypto.com loan. So um, our MCO loan, 40 cents. Uh, our Ethereum loan, so that's 10 Ethereum pretty much, uh, $2.63. And our Bitcoin loan, which is half a Bitcoin, $6.39. And then finally at the bottom of the list, Celsius. Um, so it says CEL here, you'll see this um, under Celsius. That's because that's the currency we're being paid out in. So is a half a uh, Bitcoin loan similar to the crypto.com loan, but I'm choosing to be paid out in Celsius. And we received $8.93 for that. Uh, now, since these figures uh, went in in the last day or two, uh, but I haven't received any payouts for them, I put another half of a Bitcoin into Celsius, so that will be reflected in the next update. And also you can't add to existing crypto.com loans, but I have put another half a Bitcoin into the crypto.com platform. Uh, so I have now uh, one Bitcoin in loans here. It had to be a new three month lockup period, but one uh, month in, B uh, sorry, one BTC in loans in crypto.com and also one BTC in uh, Celsius as well. So it'll be interesting to see how these two um, figures compare going forward. At the moment, it does seem to be uh, better in terms of um, fiat kind of payouts to get paid out in Celsius um, token through, excuse me, sorry, uh, the Celsius token rather than BTC through crypto.com. But it'd be interesting to see because they're the same amounts of Bitcoin in both of these loans and they were set up at the same time, uh, which of these is most profitable uh, going forward. And then finally we have advertising. So um, I publish videos obviously to YouTube and I have my library account synced to my YouTube account. So whenever I publish a video on YouTube, it gets synced to library. Now at the beginning of the year, library was producing um, greater returns than a YouTube, but that's really turned around in the last couple of updates. Uh, YouTube overall has now uh, overtaken library, $62 to 58. Uh, the amount I'm getting from library has really dropped down quite substantially over the last month. 
Uh, now, I don't know quite why this is. I don't know whether it's just the lack of updates, lack of new videos from me, um, or whether it's just like a lot more people on the library platform. So therefore, um, you know, a lot more competition for kind of um, ad revenue on it. But anyway, uh, the total amount for this last update, $188.06. If we jump to the graph, you can see here, almost exactly the same. Uh, both of these were $188 and something, a fraction less, I think we're about 60 cents less. Uh, here on this latest update than the one two weeks before and obviously every two weeks as I have mentioned before we get the block five payment which is our largest single payment each uh, each uh, every other update and they get paid out uh, once a month so that's why there's the variation between um, the first weeks or the first updates and the second so these every other update basically will be higher than these ones but as long as the overall figure is up I will be happy and uh, now we did drop down a, a fraction now we have got some additional um, interest account loans since that last update since update number three uh, but just the price of Bitcoin the price of cryptocurrency in general has uh, pulled our revenue figures down a little bit so 188 dollars and six cents uh, hopefully with a bit of a recovery obviously in the last day Bitcoin's I hit a new sort of short-term low. I think we're down currently to around 7,300, 7,400 for the price of Bitcoin. So it's dropped quite substantially over the last 24 hours down from uh, sort of about 7.9, I think it was just over 24 hours, 48 hours ago. So um, we've seen that kind of pullback. Uh, we've been seeing this for the last kind of couple of weeks, which has affected these prices a little bit. But um, I'm not panicking, certainly not kind of panicking, uh, panicking rather. Um, I've been accumulating a, a bit over the last sort of two or three months. Uh, we hit that kind of high of over 10,000. Then when it kind of came back uh, down a little bit low, I have been uh, accumulating a bit more kind of Bitcoin and I will probably continue to do so uh, over the next kind of month until we see that real big uh, surge upward in upwards in price. Um, so that's it for this update. Thanks very much for watching as always. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. It's always really nice to hear from you. Uh, even if you don't have any questions, let me know um, what's working well for you at the moment. Um, let me know if you're accumulated, if you're selling, um, you know, what passive income uh, strategies you're utilizing uh, in 2020. But thanks again for watching um, and have a great day. Bye bye.